Greetings, this is Vlodril and welcome to the demo for Stellaris Nexus, which is a pre-alpha demo uh, of the new game, spin-off I guess of the main Stellaris game of Star Trek. I know that the Star Trek module was very popular, so maybe that's why, I don't know. I will play the tutorial because I haven't played uh, for quite a while. Welcome to Solaris Nexus. Okay. <clears throat> uh, counter this imminent threat, liberate our colonies, and perhaps most importantly, gather intelligence. Cool. Solaris, if you haven't played it, it's a fantastic grand strategy game, I guess, for X and I mix. Uh, I have like a pretty big playthrough in my channel. Well, uh, which I coped with a friend. It was pretty amazing, fantastic soundtrack. I don't remember it looking anything like this, though. Hmm, interesting. All right. Continue. Travel to a new system. Rip. No. Oh, that, that was some fast movement. What happened there? Uh, again, this is a different game from Stellaris. I think it plays differently too. Obviously, because in Stellaris you had to, you know, walk uh, out of the um, um, solar systems, let's say, um, gravity well to jump out. Effectively, building an interstellar empire requires the support of your population, government, and military. Support is the, your most important resource and determines how many actions you can take your turn. Each turn action one costs one support. That's new. Again, I haven't played Stellaris, so they might have added a lot of stuff. I played that at lunch. Action two costs two support, action three costs three support, etc. Each planet in your empire reduces your support income by one. Additional support is required for building star bases. Okay. If your support income drops to low, some of your star systems may revolt. Well, that's great. How do you gain support though? Well, I guess that's the thing, right? Stellaris wasn't the base, was it? I think it was real time. Again, it's been like, what, six, seven years, so. Leave it alone. <laughs> Maybe that's why you moved so fast, because it's unbased and it's not uh, real time. Your battleship fleet is now in combat with hostile forces. Also, very pretty in the original Stellaris. Uh, any active battles will resolve after the end of your turn. Oh, really? At least we can watch it. So this is a much different game, obviously. Why are we hitting the planet? Occupy a planet. Left and drag from your battleships fleet into that name to occupy the planet. This will cost you one of your five ships from invading fleet to garrison and suppressing hostile resistance. Okay. Established. This looks weird. Again, Stellaris was a very pretty game. This looks mobile if that's a word. Maybe it's a start. It's a tutorial after all. It looks a very simplified version. Let's we'll see. Uh, left click on Earth. Use the star base and build a new destroyer fleet. Constructing a fleet will cost you materials and require enough munitions capacity to support it. Fleet commission confirmed. Okay. We just build fleets, not individual ships. Also, this is a pre-alpha demo, so I'm not gonna go too hard on the graphics, but what the hell is this? Come on. Again, Stellaris. Fantastic. 
very pretty game. This is not it. I always wonder why they didn't make a Stellaris 2, but Paradox have been known to actually, you know, milk every game with gazillion DLCs, so to be that. Uh, drug from your battleship fleet to the nearest planet to add... What? Left click and drag from your battleship fleet to the nearest planet to add additional ships and weapons. What? Also, should I see the fleets somewhere? Reinforcements pending. All right, so this unfolds slowly. That's why it looks so empty. Edicts are the primary way of an empire to enact his will, its will on the galaxy. It's then you will be provided with a number of edicts, okay? As with fleet actions, using edicts will cost you support. Very well, explore system. The explore edict allows you to explore unique anomalies in nearby systems. Okay. Uh, let me see. This is unexplored. Alright. Where's it coming from? Is it a, it's like a card. That's weird. Orders confirmed. That's super weird. You can use diplomacy edict to convince a neutral planet to join your empire. Come with me. Voice dispatched. That card thing system is weird. Construction edict allows you to build new projects on your planet. Why do I need an edict? And I have, can't I just go to the planet and do it? Weird. Very weird. Construction underway. A new planet has joined your empire. Your deep space probe uncovers a dense debris field that appears to be the site of a massive battle between unknown combatants. Also, Stellaris, again, I will keep saying this, but amazing game. Had really, really, really nice events. Confirm. Uh, we should use this opportunity to end this attack by taking out their fleet and occupying the planet. Uh, Din Leon. Alright. Move your battleship fleet to, to Din Leon. Can I even take them? Destination confirmed. Every fleet possesses distinct abilities for movement and attack. For instance, the destroyer fleet can travel up two jumps in a single turn. Okay. Uh, firing orders allow you to attack or defend specific ships during combat. Left click and drag from your battleship fleet onto your hostile fleet to focus to that specific fleet. Some classes of fleet have an advantage over others, however your fleet of huge strengths. Uh, capital strong versus raider fleets. Uh. Also the small ship, the destroyers, right? Uh, hit that. Target engaged. Yes. Hit that. Click and drag from the destroyer to your battleship field to defend it. Okay. Defensive posture confirmed. The command it allows you to set a fleet rule on one of your fleets. That is really loud. Um, use the command edict on your battleship, okay. 
Rail Guns Gen 15 Weapons okay. This must be really early because the UI is not great Report destroyer fleet Got destroyed The sacrifice systems. Uh, use your battleship fleet to occupy the planet Dillion. Uh, yes, okay. System control established. Uh, use the research edict. Oh my god, everything is cards or edicts if you like. That is so fucking weird. Why? This seems an extremely simplified, if not dumbed down, version of Stellaris so far. Do not love this. That seems nice. Uh, relations, blah blah blah. Share some more technical data with them. Like even diplomacy is with cards. Uh, change the planet's culture. You, the Vur has spared the culture to Din Leon. Uh, use the culture edict to either remove the rival or spread yours to the planet. Yes, sir. We'll defend ours. We have the opportunity to send a trade convoy to the Vur Empire. If they send one back, we both receive credits according to our combined trade value. Good alternative, send the convoy to the neutral planet Kukrion. Okay. So if I do it there, we will we'll get money for certain. If we do it there, we won't get money if they send back. I don't understand how that works. Convoy uh, build a carrier fleet. Okay. Carriers arranged fleets and are able to attack hostile fleets from an adjacent system. Oh, okay. Fleet commission confirmed. They rejected us. How dare you, you swine! Uh, Starbase again. Okay. Your carrier fleet to Cygnus. Okay, something tells me they'll, they'll attack me. The Persia correct commander, the Vur, had their sights set on Dillion. Yep. Yep. Okay, they will attack us. So, did I bring this fleet over here? Why, why is it doing it there? Uh, select war. Okay. War this then. Espionage. Start a plot against the rival Vur Empire using your espionage. Plots will take a number of turns to carry out, so plan ahead. Let's start the coup. But I, I want these guys to come help me. No? Okay. Just leave them there for no reason. Use your carrier to provide range support and target the battleship. Okay. Priority target engaged. Why am I not using this one? I don't know. Sure. 
It's a tutorial, all right. The politics edict can be used to find any edict available, but you will have to pay support for an additional action. Okay. I all right. Direction confirmed. Gain one something. Senate support. Um Use the level up text to level up your leader. Okay. Yeah, sure. Defeat the boor. Alright, now you can do whatever you like. Let's build uh, something there, I guess. What the hell is that? Available population. Let's go for that. Under construction. All right, let's go there. Let's go there. Target engaged. You haven't unlocked any roles for this fleet type. New fleet orders confirmed. Just pressing everything, basically. Okay. This fleet has in better days. This is hitting them too. Can I go repair this? <clears throat> yeah, let's build some battleships. Is there a way to repair this? I don't see. Bring them here. I have more than three fleets in each star system. Uh, I have two fleets there. You may not what are you talking about? Three fleets in each star system. Okay, strange. Course locked in. Okay. Yeah, then I don't know. Super weird. All right, fine. Uh, Fleet commission confirmed. Okay. Can I use this? There we go. New project under construction. You cannot influence an empire. Ah, uh, okay. You are at war. Cultural push initiated. We don't have enough. Okay. Okay, I want to merge you with you. Good. You can merge similar type, but not the other ones. Okay. Attack. Uh, attack. Alright, so. Attack. Attack. Defend. Uh, I can't remember how to do it. Maybe I did, I'm not sure. I don't see the hits coming from the carrier fleet, but I don't know. Hmm, don't know. I 
Are they not gonna finish the combat until I press some turn? I guess not. That's why that those attacks weren't coming. It was weird because they seemed like they was fighting, but they weren't. Alright. Unload. So I guess it unloads automatically enough to get this. Conquered. Okay. Planets in anarchy cannot be used. That's fine. More carriers. Away. Plotting jump. Uh, what do they have there? Battleships. Okay. Up 21 points. Explore. En route. And espionage. Orders understood. Survey team reporting in. Yep. You can't go there, right? Yeah, fuck that up. Three fleets in okay. There we go. Confirmed. Um. Yes. Underway. You cannot merge different fleet types. Uh, that's battleship, right? Oh, that's the carrier? What? I thought that's the carrier. Did I make two carriers? I, th I thought I made battleships. Oops. My bad. Fleet commission confirmed. Okay. Battleships. Battleships. Cut. Thank you. Alright, now you go there. And now we attack. Destination confirmed. Attack order confirmed. Um construction underway. Hmm. We'll take laser cannons. Uh Sure. Oh, damn, I can hit them without even my guys coming here. That's interesting. Priority target engaged. You haven't unlocked any roles for this fleet type. Fleet roll updated. Okay. Probably don't need to do any of that, but whatever. Already have a plot yeah, okay. System. Nice, okay. Where is the battle? Oh, not sure what happened there. I'm back, I guess. What? Plotting jump. Nope, nope. God damn it, stop. Fuck. We do not even have half speed. Okay, I guess we need more battleships. Uh, more battleships. I guess that also needs a star base. But we don't have uh, materials, I think so. Alright. Uh, I can get credits, which I don't think I need. Instead, I'll build this. Underway. You have already oh, okay. 
Okay. Alright, fine, let's use this. I'll do anything there. The building here is... Alright, is that enough? There we go. So yeah, you need a specific amount to get it. And it's automatic. Alright. Cool. And that was uh, the um, tutorial for... Um, uh, okay. And that's it too. It's Everything else is locked. No. Alright. Uh, I think that's good enough actually for uh, the first look. This looks again like an extremely simplified version of Stellaris. It doesn't look as good as Stellaris. It doesn't play as good as Stellaris. It's a 10 based version of Stellaris. But I don't know what the hell it is supposed to be. Like, why? It was not bad. But why? Why not make Stellaris too? I don't know. Again, this looks weird to me. Anyway, uh, this might be just me uh, or just me just might be because I played Stellaris. Would be interesting to hear the opinion of people who haven't played it. But uh, I'll leave the first look here. Thank you for watching, as usually. Feel free to leave a comment, subscribe, like all the good things. I'll be back soon with more. There is a link in the description below if you can check it out yourself. Uh, it's gonna be up for a few days on Steam Next Fest, so you must hurry if you're going to play it. Bye-bye.